Hi, I'm back and in this video I'm going to show you how to take video that you recorded that you want to share with your class and make it available to your students through your iLearn page. So just a few minutes ago today I recorded a, a welcome message to my Psych 161 class for spring of 2020. I want to put that on my iLearn page for the course and make sure it goes out as an announcement to all my undergraduate students so they can start to get up to speed with what is going to happen in my class this quarter. But I recorded that video using Screencast-O-Matic and Zoom and I saved it to my hard drive and so I still have this problem of how do I make that available to my students. So I'm not having my class use my YouTube channel to find lectures. I don't expect them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is mostly for like instructors and TAs thinking about how we're gonna get set up and how we're gonna like navigate the remote instruction environment for spring quarter. It's not a place where I'm gonna put all of my lecture materials and my class meetings and uh, anything my students enrolled in my classes actually need to know or to be able to see. And as well, in the last week, we've, we've learned from UCR that they don't consider YouTube to be a, uh, an officially sanctioned platform for delivering your course content. So I don't want to put my uh, welcome to my class video only in YouTube. I want to make it available to my students through iLearn. So how am I going to do that? Okay, so I'm in my Zoom room. I have the meeting locked, but that's just so that I can see myself and you guys have a video of me while I'm talking you through this. I recorded a video previously and it went to my documents folder on my hard drive. So it went into documents and it's this video right here. Welcome to Psych 161 S20, Spring 20. So I want to take that MP4 and I want to put it first into my Google Drive. So not my Google Drive that goes with my personal Gmail account, but my Google Drive that I have as a faculty member. So I already have a folder set up here for my class for the spring. Uh, it's Psych 161 and I'm going to, I have a separate partition here for test videos where I'm like uh, mucking around with how I'm going to do things and then actual content from my class is going here. Okay, so I can put lecture videos here. So what I'm going to do just to show you is drag this into my Google Drive. So there are two elements to this step that I'm doing. One is it serves as a backup so that I uh, don't need to keep all of my uh, video files for my lectures or for my classes on my hard drive, but instead they exist in a cloud, so they exist in my limitless Google Drive that I have as part as a faculty member at UCR. The second would be I could link my students within iLearn, I could link them directly to the file that lives in my Google Drive. So I could do it that way or I could do it a different way where I actually upload the video to my iLearn, which is what I'm actually gonna show you. So just know like it's good practice to take your video files wherever they get stored on your hard drive or if you're using Zoom's cloud recording to store your lectures, download them and then move them to your R drive space just so you have them backed up um, in case you need them again because you probably will want them. Okay. So now you can see this video is showing up here, so I have it backed up. And then if I go to iLearn, I've already got this set up um, because I didn't want to waste time typing because I'm a very slow typer, typist. And let me move this so I can stay on camera with you. Whoops, not like that. <laughs> okay, uh, so what I have in iLearn it are two things that I've set up for my class. So one is an announcement. So I've made this so the announcement's not available for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna check to make sure that this makes sense before I send it out to my class. This is the first contact I'm having with my undergraduates who are enrolled in 161. So I wanna make sure I get the information right and I'm not spamming them with stuff that's not very helpful because it turns out it's not the way I'm gonna do it. So this is gonna go out to them at 1.30, it's currently 1.05. Okay, so just a short note, dear Psych 161 students, welcome. I'm excited to have you in class, your TAs and I are looking forward to working with you, blah, blah, blah. Keep watching this space. And then a link to um, a video that I've uploaded to the course materials part of my iLearn. So let me show you this, course materials. The only thing I've gotten here so far is this little like video that's gonna go out to them. Again, at 1.30, I have it set to go in about 20 minutes. The way I did this was to build content, scroll down to video. Create video, I can find the file, I can go browse my computer. So instead of taking this from my Google Drive, I actually took it directly from my hard drive. So I'm uploading the video file into my iLearn. 
Okay, so I did that. I didn't change any of these custom settings, but I did here say it wasn't gonna display until after 1.30 p.m. today. So again, I'm buying myself a little cushion instead of blasting it out to all my students right now just so I can check that this all works the way I thought. And then I would hit submit. So I don't need this one. I already have one set up. I'm gonna cancel it. And then just to show you, this is the same video. Hi, I'm Professor Davis. And if you're seeing this video, you're enrolled for spring quarter of 2020 in my Psych 161 class, Socio-Emotional and Personality Development. Okay, so that is the same content as what I have uh, already uploaded to my YouTube channel. This is gonna go out to my class in about 20 minutes. And so uh, I'm sure I'll be hearing from students if they try to navigate this and they can't figure out where this video is or they click on a link and it doesn't work, but this should get people started. So this is like a really simple way to take your lecture material, your recordings, whether you're doing it synchronously or asynchronously, and get it posted to iLearn, which is what we need to do. We need to make sure all of our content is available to our students through our Blackboard or iLearn and not through other channels on the internet or different um, technologies that they need to be able to use. Okay, good luck with this, and Annie and I will be back later with more stuff.